I, I know I'm being dramatic because it's for your benefit, okay? The, I'm emphasizing the point. The point is I'm going to look at every step of the process. I'm even going to do, I'm going to do, the, I'm even going to do this. I was kicking this around last night thinking, what, do, what should I do here? What should I really do? I'm going to put up this weekend, um, I'm thinking of putting up your test five. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to go visit mom instead. Sorry, guys. My priorities, my priorities are mom. No, what happens with sons is you pretty much put everything else but, you know, things as priorities, which is a problem. So it'll just take care of you then. Yeah. But it's not that you have to go through a big maze of information to get to. Because what I found was I try and I try and click on the, the test um, after mm -hmm. college. It doesn't open up perhaps because I'm at work or it doesn't allow Let me. Let me go look at what I'm going to do tonight. Is I'm going to look at I'm going to look at all the details tonight because I've heard this from Friday class. I'm going to go take a look. So I'm going to do a few things. Yeah, somebody mentioned that. I, we checked in the lab and it was up. So um, I'm going to go check it all and see what's going on. I, we checked in the lab with some Friday students. It was up. I got to see what's going on with that. It could be a link. Let's not be all over the place with our questions. Okay, or let's not be schizophrenic. Let's let's stick with the topic. You want to go left and right? It's like it's like corralling cats. Huh, there goes another one. Try to corral. Oh, there goes another. Let's stick with the topic. We 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 are going to check to see all of those issues and let's talk about this. We're gonna check all those issues. See if it's down, what's going on. If it's not, let's go to see what's going on. Put all, check all the tests your knowledge. And what I'm even saying is I've thought of even putting for students ahead of time their test five, which is, or at least putting a whole um, worksheet together on hypothesis testing because the pro pro program I have doesn't have hypothesis testing. So I'm thinking, what do I do to put hypothesis testing there so that people can do this all in the right way? See what I mean? In the past, I haven't put things on hypothesis testing there. So um, your questions about what are you going to look for are very good questions. Because of the fact that I know from experience on like a final, some people are just going to guess. Reject the null. <laughs> do not reject the null. Without showing, the work of Without showing anything. So I'm, I can actually do this. I could give you a hypothesis test question and make it a five-part question. What's your hypothesis? What's the decision rule? What's your test statistic? What's your conclusion? So, so in other words, if you're going to be busy guessing, you're just going to be SOL. Well, then I, I have to think about. You know, that's the whole. That's the whole point. If it's divided up into parts. You know, so I mean, because because again, what kind of strategy are you going to use to succeed? I, for personal things in my life, this isn't this isn't just a lesson you learn once and forget about it. These lessons apply to your life forever. Even even for myself, I have to follow for a lot of things my own advice, and that's never going to change. So I have to follow my own advice that I give to you if I want to do certain things. One of which is to do what? Make sure we find what the problem is for the website. Thank you. I think we should do two parts then. No. No. All of this is equivalent. The Z table I gave you isn't the one. Trilla just changed that. See what I'm saying? So I'm going to go back and put up a Z table for you guys that is like the one I gave you. See what I mean? Exactly. So that's what I'm going to put up. Now, if you say, let me go, I read the book, it has a different approach. It's similar. But I want, I can't, it's, it's like the funny thing is I can't emphasize enough to students that what I gave you was this piece of information. The book gives you this, this whole piece. You go, oh, I, I forget it, I can't. I'm, <laughs> I, uh, 
You know, and the answer is, think about the two concepts I gave you. Percent of the bow that's shaded. You guys said, oh, that's easy, it's easy, it's easy. It's about you putting things together. Putting things together. And yeah, the book will have you look not for 49.5. Well, what's 49.5 plus this whole region? I don't, I, I don't know. What's 49.5 plus this whole region? What is it? See, see what I mean? It's not that bad. It might be an extra step, but the point is you are practicing finding percent of the bow that's shaded, which is not going to be um, a useless task. No, the answers are not different. Okay, let's look at another example here. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We got work to do and, uh, oh, yes. Yeah. I don't want to learn how to do this. Can we take a break? Are we going to go? No. No, not yet. You are learning, and that's more important to you in the long run. Everything we're talking about is a treat. <laughs> this is, this is, this is everything you guys need to know how to to survive. You have not really been surviving. This is a. Uh, here we go. See, because here's the irony: if you don't get this information, and then you take a test, and you'll be like, oh. It's like, oh, remember all those breaks? Yeah. That's all right. The proportion of students who smoke is less than 0.35. Hold on, we got stuff to do. Thank you, sir. Okay. A sample. Of uh, 55 students reveal that twenty smoke. Use the ten percent level of significance to test yeah. this claim. First step, P less than 0.35. We already talked about that. What's the opposite of that statement? P greater than or equal to what? 0.35. Decision rule time. <coughs> no. Left tail, right tail. Left tail. Do not reject the null. Reject the null. What's your alpha? It's 10%. 0 0.10, we need a critical value using your z-table. You're going to look for that 40% or simply 0 0.400. Get as close as you can. And what value is there? No. 
Uh-uh. What's values there? Okay, is that the closest? Good. What's the z value? Negative 1.28? Okay. So here we go. The test statistic formula is p hat minus p divided by the square root of p, 1 minus p over n. So we have to determine the sample proportion. What's the sample proportion? It's going to be what? Um, hmm. 20 over 55, what does that become? Wait, 3, 6, 4. So plug in all these values. 0.364. P is 0.35. The value of P is written, indicated here, 0.35. Now here, 0.35, and you need the complement of 0.35. What's the complement of 0.35? 0.65. 0.65. Point, point Sample size of N was 55. Test statistic is? 0.364 minus 0.35 square root 0.35 times 0.65 divided by 55. So what's your test statistic value? What is it? 0 0.216. 0 0.21. 0 0.218. What is your critical value? Approximated to the nearest hundredth. So give a test statistic to the nearest hundredth. So that means that that's going to be what? Point what? Point, what's the answer? 0.22. Good. If your critical value is to the nearest hundredth, compute your test statistic to the nearest hundredth because you're going to compare it. 0.22 is right here. It's in the do not reject region. Do not reject the null. So if we go back, do not reject the null is that statement. We accept the what? Alternate. The proportion is less than 0.35. Does this always happen? The answer is no. Where are you at with the tape? Okay. That's the way it is. If you're too busy to do it, you're too busy. Take the class next semester when you're not busy. Okay, Eddie, let's just take our break.